Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. It's time for another handgun showdown where the viewers of this channel decide which manufacturer makes the better handguns. This one is a little different. This is a CCW edition. Today we're matching up holster carry versus pocket carry and I'm looking forward to getting the feedback from the viewers of this channel as to which way they primarily prefer to carry their handgun. But before we do that, I have to report the results back from the last handgun showdown where we matched up Ruger versus CZ. Both of these companies did very well in the handgun showdowns. I don't think either lost to anybody. So I matched them up and um, I can't say I'm surprised because so many people love CZ handguns. So CZ took this one. It was close, but people love CZ handguns and they are yet to lose a handgun showdown. So you could let me know who I could match them up with in the future. But here we have pocket carry versus holster carry. Let's get after it. Let's start with holster carry. Holster carrying a gun offers many different options. You can carry appendix, cross draw, behind the hips. Some people even carry in the small of the back, which I find extremely uncomfortable. I would never do that. They may ankle carry in a holster. They may a shoulder carry, which is difficult in the, the warmer months, but people do that. But here's a small example of what I have to show. Primarily, I use multi-holsters. You know, they're, they're local to me. They're great people. I can just go pick one up, and I recommend them quite often. But let's run through these, and then we'll get into pocket carry. Here we have an M&P 9 2.0 compact, right, with the 4-inch barrel. Now, you can use a larger gun. You can carry a larger gun with holsters, no, no doubt about that. Although, I know some people do drop a Glock 19 in the pocket, and that's what this is. All right, so a couple larger ones. Springfield Hellcat with the 13-round mag. You know, holster carry, nice and light. Here's a Car PM9, one of the smallest 9mm that is offered out there, and, and people pocket carry and or they holster carry that gun. And here we have a Glock 43X with a, that's called Blood Red, and this is a Vetter holster. Holster carry, it's so comfortable, it's so easy, it's quick drawing, and it offers options I know a lot of people do that. Some people actually do both. So let's talk about pocket carry. When we talk about pocket carry, we're talking about simplicity. Just dropping it into the pocket and being on our way. Now, I pocket carry on occasion when my dress requires it or I carry a backup. And typically, they're smaller guns, although a lot of people like to carry revolvers. All right, the 38 Special. This is a heavier 357 Magnum, but there are people that will just throw something like this in the pocket and feel completely comfortable with it, and it's not a bad choice. But let's roll through these. I do agree that a pocket holster should be added when pocket carrying, but what we have here is a North American Arms Pug chambered in 22 Magnum. A little five shot here, extremely lightweight, safe to carry. Some people primary carry that. I would never do that. Over here we've got a Ruger LCP2 and 22 long rifle. Ruger provides the holster which is a nice touch, whether it's the 380 model or the 22 model, same size. Diamondback DB9 Gen 4, extremely lightweight. That's actually a plus P model, and you know, you get six rounds in the mag, and one of the lightest guns you could possibly carry in 9mm. This one's really cool, a Seacamp LWS32. Seacamp actually gave me this holster at SHOT Show. I, I think this is a very cool choice. Six rounds of 32 ACP. I think this is the smallest semi-auto in today's market. I'm pretty sure that's correct. Let me know if I'm wrong here. And then we've got a car CW9. Now, it's the same size and weight as the PM9 that I showed with the multi-holster, but it's light enough to pocket carry easily. And I know a lot of people do that. They, they tell me, I carry CW9 in pocket, and I, I, I don't think about CM9. Correction, CM9. And the CW9, whatever. But they do that. They like the simplicity of it. And for them, it just works. So let me know which is your primary preferred method for carrying. I have to believe most people are like me and going to say a combination of both. But I'm not sure. So I'll be sure to add them up and report the results for the next Handgun Showdown. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. And you guys be safe.